Hey, hey, Mario Rodriguez here, and you're about to enter the world of mystery where everything and anything can be unexpected. You're watching The Unboxing Zone. I'm going to move for some Japanese snacks here. So I got my Ati Bento Snacky Box, which is full of Japanese and also Korean snacks, and it's brought to you by OneUpBox.com. You actually go to OneUpBox.com, you get, of course, the OneUpBox in itself, but also information to get your own Ati Bento box. So, well, let's check it out, and let's do a bit of taste testing, and let's see what we got this time. Careful here, so I don't slice and dice myself. And here we go. So, you guys get a bit of an advanced peek before I do. And the first thing I notice here is this big bag of chips. Um, oh, shrimp chips. Shrimp chips, baked, wheat puff snacks, yuzu and black pepper. Um, 50 years, the original. So interesting, Calbi. Shrimp chips, inspired by age-old Japanese recipe and beloved in the U.S. for over 50 years, East meets West, as Calbi shrimp chips capture the authentic flavor of natural wild shrimp in its delicious baked snack. Grab a bag and share with a friend. One handful, you discover the delightful taste of Calbi shrimp chips. Try yuzu and black pepper and our other robust flavors. So, yep, I'll try it out. I'll try it out last. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what else we got here. So, lots of weird things here. Um. Let's see. This is um, Paray Gummy. Paray Gummy. It's all Japanese. Unlike the other thing, I got no idea what it is. It's all Japanese. Um, I sort of kind of recognize enough Japanese symbols. I can't actually read it, but I can kind of recognize that it's Japanese. If the symbols look completely like I've never seen these before, then I'm going to assume they're Korean or something else. But um, yeah, so they're gummies. There's drawings of oranges or peaches or something. You guys can kind of tell me there. Peaches, like blood oranges, something like that. I don't know. Um, I'll see. Maybe I'll try it. Then we got this soda here. Interesting soda. It's called Milky Strawberry Strawberry Carbonated Drink Latte. Uh, new feeling of soda beverage. No caffeine. Made in Korea. This is our first Korean thing here. So, yeah. I'm a bit nervous because it's called Milkies. I don't uh, like milk particularly. I can drink milk mixed with, you know, something else. So it tastes like chocolate milk or something like that, but not milk in its um, purest form. Not really in the mood for strawberry milk. I, I'll read the thing. The thing says it's something else. I'll drink it, but if it's actual milk, I'm kind of hesitant there. And, uh, oh, this looks like Goemon. I think it's Goemon. Corn potage. Interesting. It's like a little bar, some kind of bar here or something. And then we also have, oh, this thing. I, I don't know what it is. This is a Pokemon, some kind of Pokemon. It looks kind of like a Pikachu, like a weird warped Pikachu or something. And it's like little candies, like little bits of something, something. It's just called Latte, well, the company's called Latte. And it's got like grapes on them, like a grape drunk. So I guess it's a grape flavored. Pokemon candy, so that's pretty cool. I never gonna the thing. It is Pokemon. The Pokeballs drawn in there. And let's see what's going on. So to explain here, this is the February box. First we got the shrimp chips, yuzu, black pepper flavor, which is of course is this. Then we got um, latte, milky strawberry, your favorite Korean soft drink infused with the flavor of strawberry. So it is an actual soft drink, it's not milk. Okay, then we got pure, which is Conro Pure. Grapefruit, grapefruit, mm, grapefruit gummies. Japanese candy producer. You got the sweet and sour pink grapefruit heart shaped gummy. It's pretty cool. Um, Pokemon. One out of five Pokemon Ramune, Ramune soda candy. And yeah, they're pretty cool. Different flavors and stuff. So I could have gotten some other designs like Pikachu and some other characters I don't recognize because, of course, they added so many new characters instead. And, um, Umaibo corn potage or potage. I don't know. Taste good stick. Yeah, let's, let's try that good stick, right? So, um, it's umaibo or, or, I don't know, umaibo or umaibo, probably umaibo, or delicious stick in English. I love that delicious stick. It is a puffed corn snack, available many flavors. Umaibo is a great everyday to go to snack. So I guess whenever you're hungry, just grab a delicious stick, right? And, um, Corn potage with the savory, creamy taste of real sweet corn soup. Appetizing. So, um, let's see here. I want to try them all. 
Um, I really want to try this. I love grapefruit. I want to try grapefruit. I want to try chips, and I'll just drink the soda, and we'll see. But yeah, kind of gives you guys an example. I'm not really sure how cool this looks as food, as opposed to actual, you know, collectible shirts and things like that. So you guys can tell me in the comments below um, if you want to see more of these like Japanese snacks, or you just like don't really care about this stuff and rather see like you know other crates and boxes and stuff. Okay, so let's try this out. Pretty good, heart shape, not a real like strong color, it's kind of it's almost, you know, colorless. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's a strong flavor. It almost kind of tastes like it would have been like a, like a grapefruit flavored Sour Patch Kid kind of sort of, but it has a very strong um, grapefruit grapefruit taste when you're done eating like the last bite or so it almost tastes like you're actually eating like real grapefruit so that's that's good credit because most of the time these candies that taste like whatever never really taste like you're actually eating whatever the thing is is uh taste after i don't know why i made my mouth all watery jeez okay so shrimp chips let me eat this here oh god it smells like shrimp, and I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. It actually smells like real shrimp, like you, like you get like raw shrimp and, and piles and stuff. Um, if you guys have ever been exposed to actual like raw shrimp or whatever before it gets cooked, that's what it smells like. Like I, I went fishing and got a big thing full of uh, raw shrimp. Mm. I don't know. I don't really taste the... I mean, it could be like the candy, not my, oh, okay, ooh, now I taste the, the pepper and stuff. Yeah, but, okay, now I'm tasting more of the shrimp seasoning and, yeah, very good. So, um, mm, strong flavor. So the last thing I'm going to try out is the soda here. Now that I know it is a soda, so I guess you guys learned something about me today. I don't like milk. I'm not lactose intolerant, I just don't like milk, the, the taste, I don't know. So I'm going to try this out, and let's see if it doesn't make a big mess all over my room here. Okay. Tastes like, smells like strawberry, so bottom up. Bottoms up, I should say. Hmm. Pretty good. It's like strawberry flavor soda, but like, I don't know, it doesn't taste as exaggerated as most strawberry flavor stuff. It doesn't taste like overly sweet or anything like that so and i don't think it's really like carbonated too much like hmm i mean it's kind of carbonated but you don't really like taste like the strong gassy you know flavored almost like almost seltzer water flavor when you drink the soda so it's kind of interesting it's kind of interesting flavor um i don't know i dare say it just actually tastes like real strawberry because if you guys i mean if you guys compare an actual strawberry as opposed to, you know, strawberry flavor ice cream, strawberry flavor candy. It always tastes like so weird and so exaggerated sweet. Like that's not what a real strawberry tastes like. This actually tastes a bit more like actual strawberries and I like that weird exaggerated candy taste. Hmm. Okay, so anyways guys, um, that was this, this, uh, I can't even speak right now. One more sip here, let me clear my throat. Put this somewhere safe where it won't spill. Okay. So anyways guys, this concludes this episode of the Unboxing Zone. This is Mark Rodriguez here. Uh, we got some real cool snacks today. The good thing is that I can actually save some. I'm not going to eat them all today. I want to kind of save them, kind of savor them little snacks as the days go by and all that stuff. But um, yeah, you guys let me know if you guys actually care about these like food related things as opposed to, you know, shirts and, and, and DVDs and figures or whatever, you know. But um, I will see, I'll still keep buying that Evento box. I really like it, but... We'll see if there's more videos or not. You guys let me know. Anyways, guys, see you all next time. And, yeah, let's have some good snacks.